That was weird. It is an icky day outside, y'all. Just get back in from opening that business. And I wanted to talk about this for a minute. Yes, we have another one in the shop now. I couldn't decide, you know, it's such a hard decision. I've got this guy. I guess we need to start naming these, right? So we've got we've got the main one here by my pinning kit uh, with some uh, Harbor Freight. I think I did talk about those in a video. Then up here, look at this, look at this. And we've got two, some missing drawers because I've used the drawers for other things. But we got one there. So this could honestly go on top of that. Because they sell, they sell is a hard decision. It's always such a hard decision on which one to get. We've got these old guys, which obviously are hard to get to. So kind of, they're kind of out of use. And I, I don't know if they're going to just stay there. Obviously this one has some pretty important stickers on it. So it is not going to be thrown away ever now. That's why I hate sticking stickers on stuff. And then we got this Harbor Freight. I'm thinking about getting rid of this Harbor Freight cheapie right here. And then this is the old style uh, one of these, which is basically, these things like $28 at Lowe's for this big one. It's black now instead of gray. But that is the older Sears or the Craftsman model. And same... Looks like they flattened the top out on it right there so it would stack better. So flat top. But otherwise it's the same. Is it the same width? Yes, it's the same. Ooh, it's a little bit it's a little bit narrower actually. So the deal is is this thing is $18.93. Right? This one with the drawers and everything. So this is the 30 drawer and then there's the nine drawer. So you've got nine drawers there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30 on top. So you can buy the nine drawer with this one on top for $27. These are 14, 13, 98, $14. And then these are $18. So 20 plus so it's cheaper to buy all in one right just but there are specific uses for it as we have here because the tall one i'd have to adjust the shelves and and that one kind of fits perfectly like that so because i'm using this we're getting on up there for everything kind of reiki related like replacement tail cams and replacement tail pieces anything i would need to rekey because it's right here this one's going to be for screws and as we can see i'm glad i'm recording this on the gopro instead of my phone anyway what was i saying that's it we've got some some screw nonsense going on right here so what i'll do is use this as a jump off point and to to do to do something with that other one so anyway just thought I would uh, just thought I'd post a video on it, you know. I don't know why.
we go. Look at that. Now I wish I had one more. <laughs> See, I should. I knew I shouldn't. Know, I knew I didn't need the big ones because I've, I've still got big empty drawers. But there we go. Ha <sighs> ha. Anyway, that's the end of that video. Thanks for watching, now. Shop. I guess shop vlog again. Unbeknownst to me, at the time of the initial filming of that, I did not know we were going to have a part two to this video. But now we are. I had to run to Lowe's to pick up some batteries this morning, and uh, I decided to go ahead and do one more. So we got one. We got two. We got three. And and the reason why? Look, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you've gotta admit. I needed one right there, right? Because look, there's a hole right there for one. So it would almost be ridiculous, ridiculous for me not to add one up there, right? All right. Anyway, you see what I'm doing with this one now. And uh, that is clearing this guy out finally. This thing has been a thorn in my side ever since I put it in here. It's just a revolving display thing. Uh, and, and it ended up just being a catch-all for random stuff. Random being this stuff. Everything that I've got in here. Even like roofing nails. Uh, you know, plastic anchors. Somewhere in here I've got just safety pins, I believe. What's up here? What's up here? What's, oh, oh, what are you doing? Stop it. Yeah, like, okay, so it's just random stuff. Rickson washers that were used for floor closers, but, you know, I can use it for maybe something else. Uh, yeah, so, uh, like, really oddball screws. Security screws, but, you know, I don't really need, need these all the time, so this is going to end up being dusty, uh, even... You know, random stuff. That's all it is. And, and I'm almost down to it. I've got a few more that I've got to finish, like just tiny screws. So basically what I'm all doing right now is just getting it into drawers. That's that's not how it's going to stay. I'm just getting them into drawers little by little and, uh, and cleaning this all so that I can remove it. And utilize this space better because we are about to. No, I'm not going to tell you all that. I'm not going to tell you that. Uh, so that's what that's for, and that's what that's going to be for. And then eventually, I am going to make my way over here. GoPro, stop recording. I didn't tell you to start recording. I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm going to make my way over here because this was my initial multi this was my initial foray into containers these are the original the og containers uh however it started getting used differently obviously having to reach back here uh, go all the way back here leaning over the safe to get uh brass nails that you use for that brass weather strip and stuff so things like that, that's what I'm eventually gonna, I'm gonna empty this out. This will stay just because it's special now. So this guy, this OG guy is definitely gonna stay here, but I'm gonna utilize the drawers a little bit differently and get this, hopefully, because there are some repeats of this stuff, both in the one by my painting kit and the one up here on the other side, you know, likely, I'm gonna get rid of this junky one. This one's a Harbor Freight one that I tried. I don't like it at all because the drawers are very flimsy compared to the real deal. So when I get rid of this guy, which right now it's kind of serving the same purpose. It's just got random stuff in there. So what I'll probably do is phase out this and this, put that up and then buy another big one because now I've got three of the 20 drawer, one, two, three, five, one, two, six, 30 drawer ones right here, 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 when I put this one up there, and then I have two of the big ones. 
Uh, I'm gonna need a few more of these bigger shells because uh, probably end up being keys for one of those. And then I'm gonna put it in this, and which will also take up this gap right here, which kinda is pointless to have. So that's where we are. That's where we are. Now we gotta do that thing again with taking the effing sticker off. how you deal with the stickers i did scratch it up a little bit though i feel bad about that you can see you can see some scratch marks from my uh, overzealous razor blade uh and and the reason why that's important is because that's going to be that's going to be right in sight you know that's going to be a prominent area so i'm just going to put stickers on this one too right I've got some stickers I could put on there, uh, but first we need to do something about this. Hmm, I did not prepare in advance for this whole project by making an area to put all this, but we'll make do. Oh, what is all this crap up here? Hold up, we need a plastic band now. Bunch of, I've got some set up keys. I don't even know what all these are doing up here. And it is dusty, so I'm gonna clean up here as well. Look, there's a bullet. It's a bullet. Stay there. Uh, that's pretty sketchy. I'm actually gonna put this on the ground and uh, go get paper towel. Let's get this back because. I'll need it. Alright. Rubbing alcohol was probably the best stuff to clean these things. There's actually a very thin gap. You could you could stash secret things in this hole. I don't know. Nope. You could stash really shallow things. Let's we'll see. Here's a here's something we all know. We all know what that is. Put that stash in there. It will. No. Yep. It will. So you could keep all your. You could keep all your sex bolts between the two. That would get kind of awkward to get to, though, wouldn't it? All right. So wait. I've got these things. Okay. And and this is actually we're we're tall. We're too tall. 
Still have not utilized these very well yet, but I can now. Because we're going to move this over here like we have the other one. Come on, how did you get together? You go right there. You. Come on. Okay, and then you. Shoot. Nope. Okay, let's go this way. You don't want to go one way, we'll try the other way. Aha. Now, I can go up there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Or, or it could go over here. That's probably where I'll, that's probably where I'll put it. And uh, if need be, I can go, uh, I can move some of these. Some of these boxes are full. Just didn't have the room, so I can probably move that over into there. And then, and then the real fun begins with labeling. I've never been a labeler, but I've got a labeler. And I just hate doing it because when you stick them on there, you got to be very precise and make sure it's straight. OCD, you know just one of those things. I've never really talked about this and I just realized that since we're on this project we have uh, some strike plates. So above key machines strike plates do not really you know go but just they landed here and that's where that's where we're at. This is what it is. Good lord I've got plenty of those. I could just scrap this whole box and never miss a beat. So Never miss a beat. That is decades of Schlage locks being put in right there. And uh, this is kind of the area where I keep like shims and stuff for keys. Uh, and, you know, cheap micrometers. Here's another belt for my HPC. I'm going to have to switch that out one day. And, uh, and then up here we see repeats. We see repeats of what I've got over there, except more combined. So I'll be able to take some of these and move them over there, maybe. Uh, this is mostly screws up top, and then we've got you know, like keyed, keyed cylinders there, flush bolt, odd strikes. And I hear some Baldwin stuff, it really didn't go there. It's like single cylinder deadbolt, screws. Uh, what is this? Uh, looks like blank. Yeah, blank strike plates, ANSI, more cylinders, and then and then two absolutely not used because I can't open the drawers because there's stuff in the way. So if I didn't have stuff in the way right here, I could open the drawers. But you know what? I'm never going to be able to have. I will readily admit that I'll never, ever, ever be able to keep an open area so that I can use those bottom drawers. I think we'll all agree on that. Anyway, that's it on my little drawers. Y'all got to peek in my little drawers during this video. If you have any questions or comments, then feel free to ask. But <laughs> little drawers. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll catch you next video.